Something that I wish I had learned when I was younger was to trust God more and to not uh, worry so much. I felt like for years I worried and worried that I wasn't doing things right as a parent. Um, I had Christian parents, they were newer Christian parents, but I was in a lot of foster homes. So I was always comparing things and trying to, uh, I just always thought I wasn't doing a good job. It's like I'd look at everybody else and always compare myself. And I was always discouraged. I had a year or two where I was really depressed just thinking I was a failure as a parent. And you know, the devil can't take away your salvation, but he can take away everything else that would make you a productive Christian because you're so busy worrying about what um, you're not doing right. But instead, focus on asking God for help and then just doing the best you can and trusting that it will be enough with God. So the most important advice I would give to somebody younger than me would be to always have a walk with God. You know, a lot of Christians are going around today and they, they, they just feel empty inside. And I know that because I've, I've been there before where I really haven't been reading my Bible and praying like I ought to. And when you do that, you, you, feel, you have a sense of just uh, having a oneness with God that you really, you don't have if you don't read his word and you don't pray. So my name is Sarah Gardner. And some advice that I would give somebody younger than me would be to save money earlier in life. I wish that I had done that when I was a little, um, you know, when I was first getting a job and um, I wish I had done better in that area. Hi, my name is JT. My advice of having brothers is first reading the Bible and reading that, like being kind to one another and uh, having relationships and being a team. I believe that doing these things will help you with being kind and helping out with your brothers and sisters. So there are two phrases that I find uh, in my life that I've struggled with. And one of them is let go and let God. And the other is um, God helps those who help themselves. So when, in my younger life, um, because I'm pretty strong-willed, I kind of thought that meant I needed to be in control of my life. And uh, oftentimes that meant God wasn't in the picture. So most of the blessings that I've had in my recent um, later life has been when I do let go and I listen to what God uh, has to tell me and wants for my life. But that doesn't mean I sit on the sidelines and expect him to do everything either. So that means I listen, but then I do, or I try and follow what God has uh, planned for me. And that's when the blessings um, come in life. Hello, my name's John. And my advice to those that are quite a bit younger than me, uh, teenagers and such, is when you think that uh, I'm too old to know what you're going through, or if I don't understand the problems you're going through, or if I don't know what it's like to be you, what do you think, I was born this old? Something that I wish I would have learned when I was younger is that there are people looking up to me. You don't really realize it when you're a teenager, but there's always people watching you. And I kind of realized that when I was 16, I decided to get baptized, even though I kind of waited a while and I was really scared to do it because I was older and it was really embarrassing and a bunch of people have already gotten baptized. But I decided to do it anyway. And then the next Sunday at church, a man in our church came up to me and he told me that because I decided to get baptized, his two daughters decided to get reassurance of their salvation because they saw an older teenager take a step and wasn't, who wasn't afraid to do something for God. And because of that, they got reassurance of their salvation. So it kind of just opened my eyes that people were watching me even though I had no idea. And because I decided to take a step, I had other people following me and taking the same steps. Uh, I remember I was a, I think I was a senior in high school, and our pastor, Pastor Hovins, pulled me into his office. And at that time, as a uh, high schooler, I was struggling with my attitude, uh, struggling with my negativity. And, you know, he told me, he said, TJ, your personality is, you know, a negative personality. He said, that's not necessarily a problem. That's the way God made you. He said, the problem is uh, you don't let the Holy Spirit control that negativity. 
and your negativity runs your life instead of God running it. And as soon as he told me that, it just clicked in my head, you know, God has made me a certain way. Uh, I don't have to be different than who I am. I've just got to be willing to submit uh, to what God wants me to do. And so many of us, you know, we have gifts, we have things that God has put into our lives. We have different uh, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, the key is to use those strengths uh, to do our part uh, for the cause of Christ. And I wish I would have known that uh, as a ninth and 10th grade boy instead of waiting till 11th and 12th grade. Uh, now every day I try to live my life uh, with the thought that God wants to use me today. And, and although I might have that negative personality, to not let it run me, uh, to let God use it uh, for something good and to, to let God use it uh, to accomplish his pur purpose instead of mine. My name's Gracie, and, I, and my advice of having a brother or sister is playing, helping them clean, and not fighting. Uh, I think the thing I probably wish I would have learned earlier in life is uh, just to be just to be humble, uh, not to think too highly of myself. Uh, usually, I think more lowly of myself than I should. And uh, but, you know, I've I've learned that God has a purpose for my life. He's made me exactly the way He's made me uh, for that purpose. And uh, and and I just need to be humble enough to realize that He's still working on me, and uh, that whatever He allows to come into my life uh, is for His purpose and uh, for His glory. And we just need to be humble enough to realize that, that uh, uh, we're here for His glory and He wants to use us as He sees fit. My advice to give to younger people is to obey their parents because their parents know what's best for them. Lots of people, when they become adults, regret disobeying their parents and leaving them. Parents know what you can do in life to prevent challenges and temptations from taking over you spiritually and mentally and physically too. Lots of people at a young age start bad habits and later on in life they their lives are destroyed mainly because they didn't obey their parents. I guess the one thing I wish I had learned the most is that um, what is important to God is the most important. I wish I had learned not to worry about things that do not matter, but to worry about things that matter the most and to have a love for God and what He loves.